kind of go through the agenda real quick. All right, looking at the first part and setting up our clock points, this is what's going to be fueling our discussion for today. The first question in our do now is why do people fight? All right, we've looked at uh, a lot to do with religions and what have made these religions successful. Religion of Islam, Christianity, and Judaism. What do all three of those religions have in common? They all believe in Marshall. one God. All right, they all have a common belief in one God. All right, and so they all also have a belief in where their religion starts, which is the area of where? Where does the three monotheistic uh, religions start? Uh, no. Julian? Um, Middle East. No, it's a specific place. I remember. No. I think it's. Does it, it start with a J? Abby, help me out. He gave you the first letter. The Yep, where is the Dome of the Rock located, Marcel? Jerusalem. All right. Yeah. Looking at these three religions, all have their origins right, in Jerusalem. And so, what I want our first question to look at, meeting with your three o'clock appointment. Right? Just meet with your 3 o'clock appointment. What are people willing to fight for? Now before you meet, this can either be, what are people willing to fight for at the high school? What are they willing to fight for in the Middle East? What are people willing to defend? What are people, what are their beliefs? How strongly those beliefs kind of fuel this anger that has been created in different scenarios? So I'll give you one minute. All right, in a standing conversation with your three o'clock appointment, all right, I would like for you to discuss all right, what are people willing to fight for. In three, two, one, go. Uh, three o'clock. Give me your three o'clock Dignity. Enjoy. I would, I would not fight over money. Why? Yeah. Oh, they fight over friendship? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Hate. Hey. Yeah. Enemy. Alright, you all go up guys. Thank you for sharing. Grab a seat. Julian. Okay, I actually heard some... I heard some, some solid conversation. Uh, especially being closer to Marcello here. Marcello, you started off your conversation with Shania Sanfat. What was freedom. it? Oh, you said freedom? Money, money, power, respect. Which is the key to life. Which is a lock song for those of you guys that don't know. Right, money, power, and respect. NPR. Did anybody else reference those three things? in their conversation. It actually kind of came up with, with Julie and I yeah, were talking. Uh, Julian, what's what's something else that, that we discussed? Uh, they fight in the Middle East over land and resources and their religion. Excellent. What type, what type of resources may be in conflict there? Oil. Okay. We said oil. Or land, resources, and then religion? Yep. All right, did anybody else come up with those three in that conversation? Just a show of hands in your group if you either discuss land, resources, or religion. All right, good. Any additional ones that we want to add that could be more particular to the area that we are in? Chris? Um, I talked about how Jerusalem is, for all three religions, is the Holy Land. Okay. Because they all have significance to um, Jerusalem and one shape or form in their religion. Okay, excellent. So the Holy Land being more specific, and then looking at the three major religions, uh, Haley, Paul, and Um, People are willing to fight for anything that they love, so any um, objects or relationships or anything like that. So we could say family or love in a relationship, Paul? 
Um, they fight for what they believe in, and they fight for their right to party. Okay, I, I like the references to these these songs as well. Yeah. All right, so beliefs beliefs are going to actually be and and one of the undertones for all of what we look at today. So Abby, with concluding. Um, me and Olivia talked about how people would fight for their own their their own ideas and their own opinion. All right, good. So beliefs and ideas. All right, what I'd like for you to do on the back is now. Why do people, what causes people to fight in the Middle East? You have one through eight. All right, one through eight. And I'll go through them, and then I will, um, I'll start you. So we'll reset them in, in any order that we'd like. All right, you have freedom, hatred, land, following others, nothing to do, family, religion, and resources. All right, so... Out of these eight, all right, on the back of your clock appointments, on half of this, you want to label one through eight. All right, I'll give you a minute and a half. All right, I want you to list these in order from greatest, why do you think people are fighting the most in the Middle East, all right, to least. All right, minute and a half. Go. Long sleeve shirt I haven't heard from. Oh, yeah, you're good. All right, mark yours. So I want you to look. I want you to look when you go through here. All right, listing one through eight. All right, everybody, silent. Give me 20 seconds, and then let's see if there's any changes that we want to make. So, yep, you go up to the board. All right, so take take a look. See if there's anything that you would have changed. <coughs> At the, look at the board. I want you to meet with your four o'clock appointment. If you have anything different than what's on the board or what you have with your four o'clock appointment, All right, take take thirty seconds to discuss. Thirty seconds to discuss any differences you may have. Meet with your four o'clock appointment. Three, two, one, go. And I actually one of the things that I want to point out that I liked is is that we didn't just say religion, right? In, in the conversation that I was in, we said, um, I believe religion was number one because beliefs strongly guide um, the decisions in which people made. And I heard some other good conversations. So I'll ask Marcello to go up. If there's anything that, um, who is your partner? Um, I think it was Shania. All right, so when you- Oh, man, I, Antonio, I'm sorry. Okay, so when you met with Antonio, let's see any changes that we see see differently here, and then we'll we'll get into the problem-based learning activity. So any changes that you would make? <laughs> Soft fingers. Do you want me to do it? doesn't like it. Oh, well, let me help you out. no All right, try now. Uh, there we go. There we go. All right. Whoa. You were ruining it. just disappeared. No. Where you go? Disappeared, then? Yeah. It just left. No, I like it. Whoa. So you want freedom up top? Yeah. Here, tell me what you want. Freedom? And then religion. Religion, which I saw in a lot of people's is the top two or three. And then resources. Okay, resources. And then land. Land. And then hatred. Hatred. And then following others. And then family and nothing to do. Okay. All right, excellent. All right. Work through, work through the technological difficulties. All right, show of hand if you had religion in your top three. Religion in your top three. Amen, hallelujah. And then for some, in our conversation that we had, we had land, 
Um, we had religion and land as one and two. What I want you to think of, right, when we go into um, our problem-based learning today, when we look at the story of why this conflict in the Middle East has occurred, right, I want you to keep your focus, right, on the idea of what religion causes people to do, right, and what importance land plays. Now, I'll tell you, all of these eight things have some part in the activity that we're going to look at today, right, so keep that in the back of your mind as we go through the reading today. All right, on page 12, all right, so if you have your unit book, all right, on page 12, so on page 12 kind of looks like this. I have a picture on page 11 of my head when I was bald. And then on really? Page 12, no, on page 12, all right, the problem based learning activity. So what I'm going to introduce is, is a problem right, in this story. All right, this story is to give us some details about a major event. All right? As we know from our studies of religion, it's going to have something to do with religion. So as we go through the first part of our story, what are we going to be looking for? All right, as, as I read aloud, what do we want to be looking for in our, our first round through? Abby? Like what what um, point in time we're reading about? Okay, excellent. So we're looking for evidence. We're looking for facts. All right. So what is a fact? Something that can be proven. Excellent. A fact is something that is proven. Right. Something that comes from the story that we can use. And so for this story, there are going to be many facts. So as we go through, I want you to try to get at least ten facts. Right. That are going to help you figure out. 